Are you tired of social anxiety limiting your life's potential? Because after speaking with countless people with social anxiety about their challenges, what I find is that the biggest pattern is that people who struggle with social anxiety consistently report that they have this very strong feeling that they're not living up to their life's potential. And it's quite clear because if there's a certain limitation on your ability to express yourself freely to other people, if there's a limitation, a fear, an anxiety, a phobia from speaking up, from expressing yourself, from saying what it is that you feel, saying what it is that you desire, saying what it is that you want, or just simply speaking your thoughts freely to other people, this is going to limit every aspect of your life. It's going to limit your professional life, your ability to make a living. It's going to limit your ability to connect with people more intimately. And it's going to limit your ability to make friendships. And as it may be, these abilities, the ability to connect with other people deeply, is very crucial for us. We are wired for connection. We need to connect with other people in order to live our life in a joyous and happy way. And what ends up happening is that people who struggle with social anxiety over time end up developing avoidance. And that means over time, an avoidance strategy starts to develop. So one starts to avoid different situations that bring up anxiety. And the most common thing that people try to do is to try to medicate themselves. And of course, uh, do consult your doctor for medical advice. This is not medical advice. But most people, what they try to do is they try to numb out this anxiety with the help of psychiatric medication. But what's actually happening is that there are certain traumas stored in your body, which is coming up when you're interacting with other people, and it's coming up in different parts of your body, which is where this trauma is stored. And if you try to numb out this pain, first of all, it's going to damage your body because this is still stored somewhere within your body. And secondly, it's not going to actually work on a deeper level, on the deepest level possible. And it is possible to gradually, over time, to begin to find where this trauma is stored in the body, in the nervous system, and begin to dissolve it. Because at a certain time in your past, you may not remember, you have been hurt in relations. And this is why this fear is coming up. This fear is coming up to protect you. This phobia, this social anxiety, actually is a very intelligent feature of your nervous system. And it's coming up because in the past, you may have been hurt in relation, and now the body is trying to protect you. And so the key to overcoming social anxiety, to begin to expand your life in all these different areas, in the area of the, your professional life, your ability to relate with other people directly affects your income. And your ability to uh, relate deeply with other people is going to affect your ability to have deep, meaningful friendships, which is so nourishing uh, for one's life. People who don't have deep friendships, uh, there's, been, there's been research on this, they end up having lower lifespans because having deep, intimate friendships uh, increases our life quality. So if you really want to start to expand your life in all these uh, areas and to dissolve the social anxiety, it is crucial to begin to dissolve the trauma that is stored in the body. And the way to do this is to begin to reconnect with the body and to begin to find out where is this trauma stored. Because if you're not aware of it, this trauma is simply bubbling under the surface and you're not able to recognize where it is stored and you're not able to dissolve it in the moment. Because our modern life, unfortunately, has led us to a kind of a disconnection from our body. Even the screen that you watch me on now, your phone or your computer, is a device of disembodiment. And disembodiment means that when we are interacting too much with digital devices, we lose touch with our body. And then later when you interact with another person or you have the potential of interacting with another person, this trauma is surfacing in the body, but you are unable to feel it fully and feel it with a kind of a healing attention that begins to dissolve it. And so the first step to do this is, again, as I mentioned, to reconnect with the body. And so we can try a little exercise right now. As you're listening to me now, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, start to notice your contact with the floor, whether that is through your seat. If you're sitting right now, if you're standing, your feet. Take another deep breath in. And again, feel your connection with the floor, whether through the feet or through your butt, which is sitting on the chair. And as we do this with a careful attention, we reconnect with the body. We can begin to find where is this trauma stored? Is it in the chest, the throat, the abdomen, the feet, the hands? Where is this trauma stored? 
And as we begin to notice where it is stored, we start dissolving it with a very powerful attention in different situations. And I'm going to give you a small story from my own life. Once upon a time, about uh, six years ago, when I was getting divorced, after I was getting divorced, I did not have any experience expressing my romantic interest to women. And the way that this trauma of fear from expressing my sexual interest or romantic interest, the way this trauma would come up in my body is it would come up, my leg would start shaking. As soon as I was about to express myself, I was about to tell a woman that I'm interested in her, my feet started shaking. And this was so unpleasant to me. And uh, I was simply afraid. And what ends up happening, when this trauma resurfaces, we begin to fear the fear. And it creates a negative spiral. So let's say you have a certain level of social anxiety and you interact with another person. And you notice this anxiety coming up in your body, whether in your face, in your legs, in your hands. Then fear is going to start coming up towards the fear. And this creates this negative spiral loop. And this is what causes more and more avoidance in people's lives. And what I've done was simply reconnect with my body again and again and again. And over time, I was able to completely dissolve this to an extent where I was able to express my interest so beautifully to women. And whether they said yes or no, it didn't matter so much. Because first of all, I was able to express myself. And this made me feel so fulfilled. And later, of course, I found many women who were interested in connecting with me and dating me or being my friend. And it was a beautiful journey that I embarked on. And I was very happy that I was able to dissolve this trauma that was coming up. And it's not necessary to remember exactly when this trauma was inflicted upon you. It's not necessary to remember, ah, oh, my father, you know, he said very mean things to me or my mother said very mean things to me when I was a child. And this is why now when I'm walking down the street, I feel so afraid. Or if I'm in the supermarket, I'm afraid of judgment. It is not important to remember exactly. Those memories may surface, but that is not crucial. The most crucial thing is to reconnect with the body. And so if you're tired of social anxiety limiting your life, this is what I specialize in. So you can click the link below. You can get my free mini course, which is a three-day mini course that you simply put in your email address and you get it day by day. And this is going to allow you to begin to notice, reconnect with your body, find where the trauma is stored and begin to expand your life. And this is a very beautiful journey of healing and expansion. Or if you're ready for that, you can also click another link below and schedule a free consultation with me to see if it's a good fit for us to work together. So what is your biggest struggle with social anxiety? Do let me know in the comments below and I'll speak to you soon.